What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that like button and uh, subscribe. Um, it'll help me out, it'll help the channel grow so we can do more stuff to this 2023 Mustang GT. Um, but with that being said, today what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of drive around and we're gonna talk about is the MT82 transmission really that bad um, and my thoughts on it. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> started talking about the MT82 I just want to let you guys know that when we get to 500 subscribers I plan on doing a giveaway of some car cleaning products um, I'll choose somebody at random obviously you have to be subscribed um, and then I'll drop that video when we hit 500 subscribers but all it'll be is you would have to be a subscriber and just comment on that video when that time comes once we hit that 500 mark but that's my goal right now is to hit 500 and then after that you know a thousand and i'll do another giveaway um but anyways let's get back to the transmission all right guys welcome back uh if you're new here like and subscribe it'll help me out um but like i said before today we're going to be talking about the m282 mt82 transmission uh in these mustang gts um there's a lot of negative reviews out there about them and I was just gonna give my thoughts on it after owning it uh, for six months. Um, you know, how I've, and it's my, I mean, it's my daily driver and how it's done well for me. Um, and honestly, after having this car for six months, I don't understand the negativity around them. Uh, I haven't had any of the issues that people talk about, how it uh, locks you out of gears and things like that. Uh, I've had no trouble with getting into my gears. Um, the the shifting is smooth. The uh, clutch is smooth. It's not it's not heavy like everybody says it is. Um, it goes into the gear well. Uh, it's actually, in my opinion, it's actually a pretty good transmission. Um, the one thing that I didn't notice about it is that when your car is cold, it does. It does seem to be a little bit harder to get into gear, um, so so it does need to warm up quite a bit before you start going through the gears. Obviously, you want your car to be warm before you start driving it hard or anything like that. Um, but that's all the negative side of this that I see is that when it's cold, it's harder to shift. Um, it doesn't go into gear as smooth. But with that being said, when it is warm, there's no issues at all. Um, also, I mean that's coming from me daily driving this. I don't drive this car. I don't drive this car hard. I don't race it every day. I'll do a pull here and there, or you know I'll take it out to the drag strip every once in a while, um, and I'll do a little race there every now and then. But I, I'm not doing. I'm not doing any hard racing with this transmission. Um, so that could be the reason why I don't mind it. Uh, it could be worse for others who are out there racing their car hard. But for me, I'm not out there running it hard every day. I'm not, you know, treating it bad. Uh, I know the Tremec is a ten. I know the Tremec is ten times better of a transmission, um, and I agree with that. I test drove a Mach One, and it did feel a lot better. Um, but for it daily, I mean, this transmission has done me well. 